me hallelujah 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 A powerful voice, Deacon John sings to celebrate the life of New Orleans icon Chef Leah Chase at her funeral mass at St. Peter Claver Church. Good evening, I'm Tom Trung. Karen Swenson is off tonight. Following the funeral and the burial, there was a second line from the cemetery to City Park to hold a public celebration and a repast in the honor of the queen of Creole cuisine, Chef Leah Chase. Erica Ferrando is joining us live from City Park with more on the celebration of her life. Erica? Well, like you said, Leah Chase was a chef. She was happiest when she was in the kitchen feeding other people. So now after a full day of celebrating her life, it's only fitting that all of her friends and family meet here at City Park to enjoy a meal together. Let it be for me. It was a full cathedral for the beloved queen of Creole cuisine. Leah Chase was remembered and celebrated at St. Peter Claver Catholic Church. God always remembers the good we have done. And the good Chase did was recognized across the country throughout her life. Every end is a beginning. Chase was an iconic figure. Her restaurant, Dookie Chase, became a safe haven for blacks and whites to meet during the civil rights movement. As a friend, as a chef, as the art advocate, and also as a civil rights advocate. She was all that, and I believe, and more. On this day, everyone gathers together because she is no longer on earth. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. But she left a legacy and an unforgettable impact on people far and wide. She understood the heart. She understood what united people, though different perhaps in culture, language, etc. And as Leah Chase would want it, saying goodbye came with a celebration. It was a never ending line of her friends, family, and strangers second lining to Dookie Chase, where so much history was made. I know that she has taken her seat in God's kingdom. She may no longer physically be here to fill our spirits and our stomachs, but the legacy of Leah Chase is still very much alive. Now, since the passing of Leah Chase, you've seen so much support and so many people sharing their memories across the state and across the country. And her family wrote in the program today that they gave us at the funeral that all of this support has brought them a lot of strength and comfort during this difficult time. Live from City Park, I'm Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.